42 Christmas print on demand designs is what I have just here, as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to take all of these prompts, go over to ChatGPT, and create an endless stream of prompts with new quotes that you can then use however you please. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. Now, all of the designs that you see just here were created with Ideogram 2.0. So to use 2.0, we simply want to click on here. We're going to input our, in fact, let's just click on one of these. Let's click on this prompt and let's add it up the top. There we go. Now, to use model version 2.0, we simply want to come here to where it says model, click on here, and then we're going to use 2.0 because this produces the best results. Then we also want to make sure that Turbo is enabled on the rendering. Now, why is that? Well, Turbo only uses one credit where default uses two. So make sure you have that on Turbo as well. But nonetheless, all of the designs that you see just here were created with 2.0. Now, they were also created with the help of my T-shirt prompt generator, which is in my little product, course, tool, toolkit, whatever you want to call it, called IDEO Mastery. Now, in here, you have 12 course modules, 200 prompts, and two custom prompt generators. Now, one of the generators is a T-shirt prompt generator, and the other is a sticker. Now, with the T-shirt prompt generator, I am going to be working on creating a brand new one over the next couple of weeks. Now, please note as well that this is only available until the 27th of September. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down below. But nonetheless, all of the designs that you see just here were created with the help of my prompt generator. And again, I am going to be working on a brand new t-shirt prompt generator that will create better results just like these. But if we take a look at these, we can see what these look like. Now with version 2.0, you can practically create flawless designs. Now this one's called Resting Grumpy Claws. And if we click on prompts, we can see what this is. Now, all of these are also on my public profile, which means you can come through and use these however you please. Now, my public profile will also be down in the description. So if you want to use one of these, let's click on this Fleece Navidad. We can simply come to more. We can either copy and paste it up the top, or we can just click on this little plus icon, and we're going to be able to use it that way. Now, I highly recommend not actually doing that. You can do that to play around with the prompts to see what you can create, but I'm going to show you a way where you can take a bunch of the prompts that you like from these designs, go over to ChatGPT, and then create an endless stream of new ideas with new quotes. Now, let's take a look at this one. I really like this crazy Christmas lady. The prompt is just here as well. Quite a long one at that. And if we go back, let's take a look at a couple more of these. Santa's favourite hoe. I like that. I really like this design as well. This turned out extremely well. And this one as well, Christmas vibes. But nonetheless, let's go ahead. Oh, in fact, this is one of my favourites as well. Cutest reindeer of all. But let's go ahead and let me show you how to take a bunch of these prompts, come over to ChatGPT, and create an endless stream. So this is using ChatGPT4. You could use the free version on this to see what it creates, but I pay for four, so that's what we're going to use. Now it says, and what you're going to want to put is, I am a print-on-demand seller and create designs using AI. I need your help with creating prompts that will be used for creating the designs. I'm going to give you some of my example prompts, and I want you to create similar prompts in the same style and with a unique quote. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. We got the yes, and then this is where we feed all of the prompts that we like. So if we come over to here, what we can do is click on one of these. We can copy this. We can then plug that in. 
we can come back find another one that you like and keep doing that now ideally you do need at least five and you can do more than that but these are the prompts from my profile and then what we did was click enter and now we have a bunch of different prompts so it says here are some new ai generated prompt ideas following the style and festive theme of your examples so this one is jingle all the way baking spirits bright now i really like that now if we look here it says that these aren't on a black background so what we can do is just simply take that prompt like this and then we can come over to ideogram and then we can just quickly edit that part out so we could do a black background and then we can click generate design or what we can do is just simply put another but with a black background and then that's what we're going to get so this one is cozy winter wishes so this could be a really great prompt so let's go ahead and take this let's copy let's come back over to ideogram there we go this design's actually looking pretty good and then let's plug that in there and click generate so let's go ahead and take a look at this this looks really really good i really like that style baking spirits bright and these look good as well now with this it looks like there's a little bit too much going on so what we could do was just simply quickly edit these prompts so let's click on the original one which was here let's have a little read the entire scene is set against a black background mir mimicking a baker's countertop with small sprinkles of sugar scattered around so let's go ahead and take out that last part and then that way we shouldn't get so much going on in this design let's click generate and then let's see what we get and let's go to this one cozy wishes so this looks really really good cozy winter wishes this one looks better and i really like this design so what we're going to do is is remix this design put it all the way up to 100 we're going to click magic prompt off and then we're going to click remix now why do i do this well when i create designs i don't want to click onto my designs to look at the others i'd rather have them all the exact same so if we come back over to here let's click on one of these we can see all of these are the same so by remixing turning the weight all the way up to 100 we're just going to get slight variations in these designs which means they're all of the same design so i don't have to click on these designs to see what the others are because i know straight away that they're all going to be the exact same design but nonetheless there we go now let's get rid of this one and these are the two that we got i really really like this baking spirits bright looks really good this one looks good as well and so does this one in fact i really like this one so we're going to do that all the way up then we're going to just delete this one as well and now we have our two new designs which were created by using my prompts as a base so again come through and try this out now one thing i quickly want to note and that is no matter where you get your quotes from this was just all done quickly in chat gpt but no matter where you get your quotes from you always 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 want to check for trademarks especially if you're doing t-shirts now the easiest way to do this is come over to google type in merch informer trademark check we're going to click on this first one we're going to give it a second and then we're going to choose just here which is all categories we don't have to type anything in we can just click search and then it's going to open the proper trademark check then here then here is where we can input our quote so if we come to here this says baking spirits bright we might want to check that so let's put baking spirits bright let's click search and as we can see there is a few trademarks for this now if we look through this there's only two which are just here one's for retail baking which isn't t-shirts and then baking spirits bright is for all of these as well so we can see that this isn't trademark for t-shirts so you could potentially use that but always 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 do your trademark checks but nonetheless we have two really nice designs just here which were created 
using all of these, my other ones, as a base. So come through, try this out, and see what you can create. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.